now that we um, push play on our stuff and we're getting ready to uh, enjoy the game, this is where you're going to type in your email address. This is where you're going to type in, obviously, your password. You've got things that you can do. You've got options. You can change your graphics. You can change the sound. Uh, we're going to turn the music down due to the fact that I don't want to interfere with anything. You can do languages, networks, advanced graphics. Always click OK. And you can always apply for everything. Cinematics, you can actually see video graphics to uh, pass expansions on there. That's really cool. Rules and regulations regarding uh, the World of Warcraft. Very important. You just click on that and gives you information, obviously, credits. This here tells you what server you're automatically going to be going in. Uh, we're just going to sit back and we're going to enjoy this. So let's type in our information. Connecting. It's going to be new uh, upgrade now, or you can play the starter edition. Well, we're doing a starter edition right now, so that's what we're going to play. This is what your tune looks like. Um, and you can see the server up here. We're going to change Rome. Because half the time when you come into this uh, game yourself, you're given the option of what server you want to pick on. Blizzard always uh, will default to new players. And yeah, we're going to do it on Organa. That server we're going to change on. Okay. The Horde has, uh, the Horde is going to be in red, the Alliance is going to be in blue. When you want to select the faction that you want, uh, this is your orc. Males and females can play both. These are known as races, race orc, what have you. This is everything that they have. Uh, you can play an orc, you can play an undead, uh, you can play a tauren. A tro and a blood elf. This is what you're going to be starting with if you decide to play Horde. And we'll deal with the classes here in a second. With the Alliance, when you log in, uh, first time playing, you can play a human, a dwarf, a night elf, a gnome, and a draenei. So we are going to play, we're going to play a troll, never played a troll before. When you pick a troll, these highlighted areas are stuff that you can, uh, that you can play. This is your class. Now if you want to play a goblin, like it says, requires cataclysm, worgen, the same thing in cataclysm. Uh, to be a paladin, you must choose a different race to be this class. Death Knight requires Wrath of the Lich King and a level character at level 5. Uh, I know I didn't make any sense when I said that. It's all good. We're going to play a, a, a troll. Uh, skin colors. You can change your skin colors. I guess they don't have a lot of variety of options here. Their face. Yeah, that one looks pretty cool. Hairstyle. Be bald headed. That's pretty cool. You just play around and find the ones that you like. I think I just found a good one. That one right there. Geeky looking. Change hair color. That one will make it, uh, yeah, that'll be good. Ah, this one's got tusks. You just play around and you just find the one that you, uh, that you like that suits you. And this over here on your right hand side tells you all the specific stats and everything that's important. Uh, a warrior is a tank damage armor male, but I haven't decided if I was going to play a warrior. Druid, warlock, mage, oh, no. 
Look like a, oh yeah. And once you decide which one you're going to pick, we're going to pick a hunter because it matches well with the pet. You have to select the name. Here's here's what I normally do. I already have a preset name, but since this I'm doing this for you guys, we're just going to pick one at random and we're going to find one that looks cool. Draz Rocks. Jeez. I like that. So we're going to pick that one. On the same server as Norgana. So that's what we're going to pick. After you pick your uh, your tune, obviously you can have an alliance. I have a gnome and mage here. You can have up to ten characters. Ten on this side here, all the way up to level twenty. This is a starter edition, so I'll let you know right here on the left hand side. Let's go in and let's go enter this world. After your loading screen, you end up with with your face over here on your top left hand side in a raptor. Obviously, your the guy with the question or exclamation point above his head is a quest giver. Uh, this is you. You hold the left button on your mouse and turn it around. This is your camera. You can change the view of your camera. You can scroll out. Like if you're going to scroll down on a website with that little uh, wheel button on your mouse, scroll back. Look at that right there. You can see much further back, which is cool. This down right here is the chat window, which of conversations that people will have. You can make the font size bigger if you can't read it, which, which is what I normally do, but we're just breaking this down. This is your map. The plus and the minus, obviously, you zoom in, zoom out. That little magnifying glass is a check mark. I always check mark certain things like flight paths, uh, low level quests, uh, auctioneers, uh, the innkeeper, mailbox, profession trainers, your class trainer, repairs, and your stable master. When you're playing a hunter, stable master is what you need. This is obviously your action bar down here at the bottom. This here is the tooltips used from Blizzard themselves. That's you click on them, that's your character there, and it gives you the hotkey, as you can see, character info with the letter C. Well that's on your keyboard. And here you can see about your pet. You can rotate your pet. Uh, diet is meat. Don't know show pet information. I don't play a hunter that often, so I don't know. This is your rep. Uh, this is the gear. These are the stats. All important stuff. Titles if you've earned any. Equipment manager. You're just a new player. We don't care about any of that. Although, we do want to set up our stuff. Unlock the window. When you click on that, you right click on general. And you come down and you can uh, click on things. Well, we just did the unlock window, so that means we can move our chat window. Hold the left button on your mouse like you're copying and pasting, and you can move things around. Alright, we're just going to put this right here right now so we can uh, do our settings. Butt size. Put it on the highest one. Scroll in there, makes the words bigger. Alright, I hope you uh, got some of the knowledge out of the when you first log in and you want to do your setup. Some people just want to just play the tune. And we're going to do that on the next video.